Hi, and welcome to freenetworkstudy.com. Today we'll be configuring ERGRP on a non-broadcast multi-access network. The features we'll be looking at are ERGRP static neighbors, ERGRP passive interfaces, and the ERGRP split horizon. So looking at the requirements list, we see that we have to enable ERGRP on all routers and all interfaces. We also have to make sure that we're using variable length subnet masks. We're asked to configure all interfaces, but serial 1 slash 0 as passive and to do so we only allow to use two commands so let's get started on router 2 let's just check that ERGRP is not already configured and it's not so router ERGRP 100 that enables ERGRP now to use the LSM we have to disable auto summarization so no auto summary we have to make all interfaces but 0, 1 slash 0 as passive. To do so with only two commands, we would start by making all interfaces as passive. Passive interface default. Now all interfaces are passive, including 0, 1 slash 0. Now step 2, we make 0, 1 slash 0 as active. No passive interface, 0, 1 slash 0. That's it. Next, we'll enable ERGRP on all interfaces, network. 10.0.0.0 and network 2.0.0.0 finally network 22.0.0.0 alright let's jump on router 3 try IP protocols conf t router ei grp 100 no auto summary, passive interface default, no passive interface, 0, 1, slash, 0. Network 10.0.0.0, network 3.0.0.0, and network 33.0.0.0. Okay, let's jump on router 4. Same story, we check that ERGRP is not already configured. Show IP protocols. Then enable ERGRP. EIG. Okay, router ERGRP 100. No auto summary. No auto summary. Right, passive interface default. And no passive interface serial one slash zero network ten dot zero dot zero dot zero network four dot zero dot zero dot zero and network forty four dot zero dot zero dot zero. All right, so ERGRP should work now. Try P route EI. GRP and we have nothing. So we might remember from the course that ERGRP exchanged its packets on multicast IP address 224.0.0.10. Since we are in a non broadcast multi access environment, those multicast packets would not be exchanged between routers. And in that case, we have to define ERGRP static neighbors. Let's go ahead and do that. Conf T router. ERGRP 100 and neighbor 10.1.1.1 that's router 2's IP address then the interface to be used serial 1 slash 0 now jumping on router 3 we'll do the same thing neighbor 10.1.1.1 serial interface 1 slash 0 to reach the neighbor. And finally on router 2, neighbor 10.1.1.3 for router 3, 0, 1 slash 0, and neighbor 10.1.1.4 for router 4, on the same interface. Okay, so we see that we have a neighbor ship coming up with router 3. 
and now with router 4. Jumping back on router 4, let's have a look at the IP route. Show show IP route ERGRP. Great, so we have some routes. But notice that we only have the routes advertised by router 2. We're missing the routes from router 3. Yeah, do we have IP connectivity to router 3? Let's ping 10.1.1.3. And we do have IP connectivity. So why are we not receiving those routes? And the reason is that router 2 is receiving router 3's routes on serial 1 slash 0. Now to advertise those routes to router 4, it will have to send them out the same interface, serial 1 slash 0. And the split horizon rule states that this behavior is not allowed. Now we have two ways to fix that issue. The first way is to bypass split horizon by making router 3 and 4 direct neighbors. To do so, we would have to go on router 3 and 4 and statically define the neighborships. Let's do that. So on router 4, router ERGRP100 and neighbor router 3. On router 3, neighbor router 4. Okay. Let's have a look at the route on router 4. Show IP route ERGRP. Okay, so now we see that we have router 3's routes. Let's ping them. Ping 3.3.3.3. .3 That's working. Now the other method is to disable split horizon on router 2. Before we do that, let's go ahead and delete those static neighborships. Router 4 and delete the neighborship, only the neighborship to Router 3. On Router 3, we delete the neighborship to Router 4. As in no neighbor. Back to Router 4. Okay, we lost the route. Now let's jump on Router 2. Now on router 2, we would have to disable IP split horizon on serial interface 1 slash 0 to tell router 2 to advertise router 3's routes to router 4 and router 4's routes to router 3. We do that on the interface level. Interface serial 1 slash 0 and it's no IP split horizon. Although the router takes that comment here, the complete comment is no IP split horizon, ERGRP, and the IS number. Let's jump back on router 4 and check the IP routes. So now we see that we have the routes from router 3. Let's try to ping. Ping 3.3.3.3. .3 .3 .3. And that's working. And that was it. Thank you for watching.